Using Microsoft Office Live Meeting, employees and consultants at Fourth Coffee regularly meet and collaborate worldwide. Rajesh, a consultant living in India and one of the presenters for the live meeting that's about to start, has already joined the meeting and finished most of his preparation. He has adjusted his web camera angle and microphone volume and uploaded last minute handouts. Using the attendee permissions dialog box, Rajesh can control such things as meeting interaction, how meeting attendees work with content, and he can grant access to handouts and shared meeting notes. For this meeting, Rajesh wants all the meeting participants to see who's attending the live meeting, so he makes sure the view attendee list checkbox is selected. If this option weren't selected, only the presenter could see the list of people attending the meeting. The next option he double checks is annotate current content, which enables all meeting attendees to annotate content that's shown in the presentation area during the live meeting. If this checkbox weren't selected, attendees could only view content. During Rajesh's meeting preparation, he uploaded some meeting handouts. Now, he wants to make sure the meeting attendees can download the handouts so they can refer to them after the meeting. However, he doesn't want to allow attendees to upload their own handouts. Rajesh gives everyone the ability to view, save, and edit shared notes during this live meeting. Okay, now Rajesh is done and is ready to start the meeting. He takes one final look at the attendees pane to see how many people have joined the meeting and, more specifically, who has joined. From the icon next to his and Rebecca's name, he can see they're the only two presenters for the meeting. And the audio status icon next to each attendee's name helps him make sure that everyone can hear during the meeting. Rajesh clicks View Current Speaker to show whoever is currently speaking in the voice and video pane. Now, Rebecca, the CEO, meeting organizer, and Rajesh's co-presenter, connects a Microsoft Roundtable device to her laptop. Roundtable enables everyone in the on-site conference room to talk and use video during the meeting with one simple portable device. And off-site meeting attendees can see all of the people in the conference room in one panoramic view. Rebecca, as one of the presenters for the live meeting, can also record the meeting. That's why the recording menu appears in her live meeting environment. Rebecca double checks what she will record, voice, video, and panoramic video. Then she makes sure the recording will be saved for later viewing. Now the two presenters use instant messaging to chat privately before the meeting. All right, hello everyone. It looks like we have everybody here, so let's get Rebecca started. tells everyone attending first the meeting that she's recording, recording it for those who can't make it today, and then she clicks record. That said, I'd like to introduce our meeting presenter, Rajesh. The recording time starts, and pause and stop buttons appear on the recording pane, so she can pause or stop the recording at any time during the meeting. Hello everyone, it's a pleasure to be here today. Meeting presenters can also show a variety of content, such as documents, spreadsheets, and rich media during a live meeting. Almost anything that's on a presenter's computer is fair game. Presenters can add the content to live meeting by just dragging a file into the presentation area or by importing content using the content pane. For example, presenters can share whiteboards, poll attendees, take shared notes on text pages, view web pages, and show screen snapshots. And all content shared during a live meeting appears in the content pane, so a presenter can easily click the file name to show a file in the presentation area. Um, there are varying tastes. At this stage of the meeting, Rajesh wants meeting attendees to brainstorm their thoughts on how Indian coffee tastes differ from those in the U.S. A whiteboard is perfect for this. Eva just types to add her ideas. The whiteboard, in fact, all content added to live meeting, looks and acts like a slide in a presentation. This makes working with content in a live meeting familiar. It's like working with content in conventional meetings. Great, let's stop here for a moment and discuss these ideas. This live meeting has been a productive okay, one. This has been such a productive And it's meeting. just finishing. Thanks, Rebecca. I look forward to working through these suggestions and uh, meeting again soon.
Goodbye. Rebecca ends the meeting, I could spend some more time tells everyone that the recording will be available shortly, and reminds everyone to download the handouts that Rajesh uploaded during the meeting. Thank you. Bye. That's it. Live meeting accomplished.